Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to install this thing, Mini DSP. Um, and this just is a quick cabling tutorial to let you know how I have this set up, which could inform you on how you might want to install this into your system. And I've got a pretty straightforward uh, single subwoofer output from my processor, and that's gonna be right here. This is the Acurus Act 4, and uh, I'm actually using an RCA out. This has a full set of XLRs, which are these cables, but it also has a full set of RCAs. And I'm gonna use the RCA because I think this is set up for RCA uh, input voltage out of the box. Now you can take this thing apart and change those, but I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna use this cable and let it hang. Um, and then on the output side, I'll have the four pre-outs going to uh, four subwoofers. Uh, I believe these two here, three and four, are going to go to powered subs, and then these two will go to a uh, amplifier. And uh, we'll talk through that as we go. All right, now, if you look on this side, uh, you see you've got your inputs here, Toslink USB, uh, infrared, um, and then uh, a button, I guess, that does something. Maybe it resets. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never used it before, uh, but we're going to put input one coming from our processor. Now in the software, you will map this input um, to the four outputs. And we'll talk about that in a different uh, video, but from a physical cabling point of view, one input can feed all four of your outputs. Now on the output side, um, this is just, again, more of the same kind of connections. So uh, we'll go ahead and plug all these in. And uh, these are going to go to two uh, powered subwoofers. Uh, these are per listens. And then these guys actually are going to go um, to an amplifier. And I'm using a cable that converts from RCA to XLR. And this is what the XLR looks like. And then this is actually the amplifier right here. So if you can see, these two cables actually run here. Now, uh, this is the USB connection for control. And the way I do this is I use a, uh, a bridge into my Wi-Fi so I can just run the app on my computer and, uh, and then that will connect here so I don't have to directly connect in. And that unit is stuck way back there and I'm not gonna try and pull it out. And then the last piece is just power. And then we shove this into the rat's nest of cables I have back here that hopefully you won't make a, uh, too much fun of. But uh, um, to cover everything one more time, you've got here RCA coming out from your processor. And I've got a single subwoofer out that comes into input one on the mini DSP. I've got the USB, which goes back to the Ethernet bridge so that I can connect uh, USB over Ethernet and control this from my laptop and not have to plug in directly. And then I've got four outputs that go to um, the RCA or XLR inputs on amplification or the plate amp on a subwoofer and then power. And once this is plugged in, you see the little light comes on, if you can see that, and that's it. That is the install for a quick cable on a mini DSP 2x4 HD.